I think the mind game is part of Yona's game inside the octagon. And um, she tried everything with me and didn't work. You no, know, I just don't pay attention for the, thing, the things that she says. I don't think she says nice things, you know, she, like nothing that she says get in my head. I don't care about the things that she says. And that might be bad for her because she needs that to fight well. I don't like mind games, you know. Uh, like I have been saying, you know, I grew up in the BJJ philosophy and I learned to be very respectful with my opponents, with the coaches, and Yona is completely different than me, you know. So she kind of bothered me with that. And I never did nothing, you know, but if, if, she, if she does things to me, I'll, I'll do things back to her. I'll tell you what, in my mind and my heart, I am undefeated. I never lost a fight in my life. To me, I lost this fight to the judges, not to you. And if you, if you watch this fight a hundred times, you know there's no way she she beat me the first time. You know the only thing she did was that knockdown in the last ten seconds of the first round. If you watch the whole fight, you know I dominated everything. You know, so um, I don't see that loss in my my in my mind and in my heart, but it is in my record. So that made me learn a lot and made me wanna wanna um, give that back to her. So how important is it for you to not let this fight go five rounds, knowing that you feel you lost to the judges and not an opponent, and you don't want that to happen again, obviously? Uh, I think this changed my, my training camps, you know, the way I'm training. I'm training to knock people out and submit people instead of, you know, uh, winning fight by the points. That's the only thing that changes in, in, in my game. But other than that, it's all the same. I'm not gonna be thinking about the, the, the judges while I'm fighting. I'm gonna think about what I have to do in the fight to win.